pylon. Have you ever seen these at football games? They sit, there's eight of them on the field, four in each end zone, and they put them right on the corner. If somebody's jumping, and say they jump out of bounds, but they reach the football over and it just barely touches this thing, that counts as a touchdown. And so it really helps the officials and the players know where the corner of the end zone is and see if they really scored a touchdown. We got this authentic one directly from the BYU football offices. It's been an interesting trip coming down here. TSA was a little bit uh, scared about what the contents are. Hopefully they let us through at the airport. Like, Lincoln, I don't know what's inside of a pylon, do you? I think it's just sand. I think because it's just sand too. Because when you feel All it, it right. feels like there's like this So plastic. that is the issue. Which way? Yeah. I want to come over here for a second. That's awesome. Eek. Giant green mass there. That's awesome. Giant green mass in the pylon. I'm even more interested now to see what's inside of a pylon than ever because originally I was like, I don't know if it's gonna be an interesting thing. Shows up that color, which also happens to show up the same color as certain explosives. Dang. So I get to play amateur chemist and make sure it's all safe. Hilarious. They've been through a lot of training. They uh, want to make sure that we're safe. So I'm actually really glad they're doing this. And it makes it kind of fun because now the intrigue is there. Like I can't wait to cut into this pylon and see what's inside of it later today. All right, so your bag ended up alarming. Oh no. We're free, we made it. And we got the pylon with us. So the intrigue is definitely building. Like what is inside of this pylon? We're about to find out, but it's, it may not just be sand. He said it was a green mass. As I've asked people and they've given me different responses about what's inside of here, what they think is inside of it. My mom actually said, isn't there a pole in that that keeps it in the ground? Some people might think that because it's just always on the ground. But if you think about it, it needs to be soft because these guys are jumping and falling on these things. And if they hit it, really hurt them. If there's a pole sticking out of it and they land on it, obviously that would not be good. Yeah. So these things are super squishy. Look at that. <laughs> yep, there it goes. Right <laughs> back into place. <laughs> this is an NFL football stadium. This isn't a college football stadium. That's interesting because there's a book that I listened to from audible.com on the way down here. It's called The System by Jeff Benedict. Audible hooked us up. They have a 30 day free trial that you guys can try. The link is in the description. It's audible.com slash what's inside. But the reason why I think it's interesting is because look at this stadium, how beautiful it is. In the book, it really outlines like how much money these teams make. The top 10 teams have yearly budgets of $80 million. The top head coaches make over $3 million a year. And yet the players don't get paid anything. Like just this year, and I think it's partly because of the book, The System, they're finally getting some actual like food stipends. Big thanks to Audible. We could have done this in our backyard, but instead we brought this pile on down to a football stadium. We're gonna go to opening day college football. Go get yourself free 30 day trial or The System. You can get that book for free. Got our pile on. I've got my knife. Check this thing out. <laughs> Not gonna take that to the stadium, but this will definitely help us cut open the pylon. You ready, buddy? I am ready. <laughs> we gotta know what's inside of you. Oh, murdering it. Ooh, sorry, pylon. This is not surgery. Oh, man. Oh, I got to the bottom. Okay, let's open the top. What is inside of a football pylon? We're about to find out. You ready, Lincoln? First, we've got this giant guy. Whoa. Look at that. We were right. It's a bag of sand. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, this is just memory foam, like you see on a bed, like you see on a bed mattress. And then this is just a bag of sand at the bottom. So, really squishy. And then it's just this material here. That's it. Next time you're at a football game and you see one of these pylons and the guy diving in for the touchdown, you can think of what's inside and you can say, hey, I know what's inside of that. It's memory foam and it's a bag of sand at the bottom. No wonder this thing only cost us $15 to buy from the BYU Athletic Department. We could even make our own. It's pretty easy. Whoever your sports team is, whether it's NFL or college, enjoy the football season. I hope your team does well, except when they're playing BYU. And uh, go Cougars. This is the way we do pregame. Birthday cake, banana shake. 
before the burger, before the meal. You always eat this shake before the meal, right? Always. Anybody who's smart does. Mm. 